Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here with our Wall Street winners for December the 14th. And welcome to the holiday season. This is our holiday disclaimer. All right, S&P took the dip that I told you that it would last week. And I think we got a few more days on the downside and then we're going to have a close of the year with a Santa Claus rally. This is perfectly normal behavior. And when we get to the seasonality, you'll see that the seasonality predicted this dip. Dow Jones, selling pressure remains muted, but we're just not getting as much buying pressure. So we're, we're going like, you know, who cares? And the lack of buying pressure is causing the Dow to slip lower, no big deal. NASDAQ also slipped lower as we predicted, but notice that the purple predictor is staying up at the old highs, showing that the smart money still likes buying on these dips in the NASDAQ. Seasonality remains very bullish. Look at that chart. Since we turned bullish, it's been nothing but straight up. Utilities got to be sitting on the sidelines now. We got to be neutral, and we're not going to really get excited about utilities until next April or May. So we're going to sit for a while. Uh, seasonality, you can see we've got the dip that was predicted by the green line, and now we're getting to the point where the thing just takes off. Here's another way of looking at it. This is the one-year seasonal pattern. Doesn't matter if it was election year or not. And there we are in, di in early December. You can see the little dip and then the Santa Claus rally. So look for the dip to end this week and for the market to take off. Asset allocation took a little dip as well. So they took some profits in the stock market and put them into the bond market. Risk decatur remains at a high level. They do not want to hunker down here. They still look for higher prices and so they want to take more risk. Global shares also stalling out, but notice they're stalling out, not going down the way the U.S. shares are. So global shares remain stronger. In particular, I really like emerging markets. The yield curve continues to grind higher. The Fed is allowing long-term interest rates to go higher. This is one of the reasons why we're short or like being short bonds here. Okay, The Fed is allowing long-term interest rates to go up. Bonds, there we go. You can see some money came back into the bond market. Overall, a bear market, but man, this is a terrible bear market. It's sloppy. It's choppy. Just when you get short, it rallies. Then it drops, and you start to make some more money, and you think, oh, great, finally the big bear market's coming. But no, then it turns around and rallies again. So we continually make money in, in, in the bond market on the short side, but man, it's hard making money here in the bonds on the short side. Uh, our bond key factors uh, remain looking for slightly higher bond yields, so uh, got to stay on the short side. Dollar, we've been talking about this for some time. In particular, against the Euro, Aussie, Canada, it's pretty darn bearish. And that's one reason why the global shares are doing so well, because it denominated in dollars, <laughs> that helps boost their performance. Gold rallied, but then this week we finally started to go down again. Gold just can't seem to get out of its way. But if bonds are going lower, then gold will go lower as well because lower bond prices means more expensive carrying costs for gold. Gold key indicators, though, remain somewhat bullish except for the big one, which is interest rates. And also, don't forget, we've talked about this before, the real lack of a wedding season in India has really hurt the gold market as well. Crude oil keeps doing better than I expected. I, whew, I You got to love it. What does it mean? This is The interesting thing is, is that OPEC and Russia decided that they would increase production by half a million barrels a day, and the price popped. That shows that the market was expecting an even bigger increase in production and isn't getting it. So clearly, global demand for oil is increasing. Bitcoin, we told you, can't really be excited about it anymore. The purple predictor is collapsing. Smart money's selling. You should have been selling last week when we told you to. 
Hey, freebies, thank you very much for coming by. Love having you here. Fully paid up members, hang on just a second.